What's up guys, this is LC and welcome back to another video in episode 2 of my Nintendo Collection Catalog, a series where I document the growth of my Nintendo Collection. In this video, I'm going to be tackling a problem I have with my setup, the fact that I game on a monitor. Okay, so before I explain the problem I have, I need to explain what the difference between a TV and a monitor is, in case some of you don't know. Basically, a monitor is just a screen, it will display whatever video signal it receives, it has no operating system or remote control. However, a TV does have an operating system, which means you can navigate through it without having anything plugged in. Also, a smart TV is a TV which you can stream different apps on, such as YouTube and Netflix. As I previously mentioned, I game on a monitor, and there are two main problems with this. First of all, most monitors, including mine, don't have multiple video inputs. This means that whenever I want to use a different console, I need to unplug the one I'm using and plug in another one. This can be really annoying, especially because it means I need to get up. The other problem I have is it doesn't have an audio output, which means I can't plug in any external speakers to control the sound, which means that there is a fixed volume. This is usually okay, but if I'm playing late at night, it's very loud. So, to sum up, I can't have all my consoles plugged in at once, and I can't plug any external speakers into my setup. So, to resolve these issues, I started doing some research. I found that there was one product that could fix all my problems, the HDMI switcher with audio out. The name says it all really. I can plug five consoles into it here and plug my monitor into it here. I can also plug speakers into it here. It has buttons on the front which let me change between HDMI sources, the consoles, and it has a remote control which lets me do all this without sitting up. So let's get this guy open. Now that I have this thing, let me tell you why this system could save you a lot of money if you have a monitor laying around. A 32 inch TV will probably set you back 150 quid, whereas this HDMI switcher with audio out will only cost you 40 quid. So if you already have a monitor, you can just buy the switcher and save yourself 110 quid. Also, there'll be a link in the description leading to the specific HDMI switcher that I got. Okay, let's hook this thing up. Okay, so the setup of this thing is extremely simple to do. One thing though, the switcher does not come with any HDMI cables, and in order to use this thing, you will need however many consoles you have, plus one of them because you need to hook up the monitor or TV. In my case, this is four, and because I have so many consoles, I have an infinite supply of HDMI cables laying around, so it wasn't a problem for me. But do keep this in mind if you want to buy this. Okay, now that's set up, it's time for the moment of truth. My Switch, Wii U and SNES Classic are all plugged in. I have the remote control here. Here we go. Well, it works. And the time it takes for it to switch between consoles is very minimal. That is cool. So I've been using the HDMI switcher for a couple of days now, and I couldn't be more happy with it. I've encountered no problem since I got it, and I've found it very easy to use. Also, I was thrilled that there was no noticeable input lag, which means that it doesn't affect gaming at all. One thing though, I'm not able to hook up my speakers to it yet because I don't have the right cable, but that is a video for another day. Okay, so that is my solution for gaming on a monitor instead of a TV. However, that is all the time I have left, so thank you for watching. Lil C out.